You know, one of the most incredible things about today's technology is to be able to have real-time video. For me, not just to record video, but to have video phone calls and conversations with anybody on the other line. This kind of video phone capability is something we've been waiting for for 20, 30, 50 years, and it's now here. This is why we want to build that capability into our citizen dashboard, into our open platform. Now that immediately leads us to ask the question, so who's going to be manning the video help on the other line? If I go click and I want to say help, who's going to be on the other side? Well, first of all, creating a peer network so seniors can talk to seniors, kids can talk to kids, that seems kind of obvious. But it also seems obvious that if you want really high quality help, well, then maybe you'll be willing to pay for it. So let's imagine this help stuff for free, and then after you talk for 20 minutes or an hour, you got to pay, or if you want very specialized domain-specific information, you got to pay. That's what creates this kind of economy of peers and virtual helping each other in a virtuous circle where the top people train and help the people right below them and those people help the ones below them and this is all driven through real-time video help so we think that a video help operator would actually be a pretty awesome job